Hey guys, don't forget, I have a 10% discount code with Mojave Outdoors. Needs Knives is the discount code. It's all linked down in the description. Also, if you want any of the models from any of my videos, I do link them down in the description. And if you use my link to purchase your knife, it will benefit the channel. Now, if the link that I provide is not the exact model you want, that's fine. Once you use the link to get to Amazon, pick which model you want. It will still benefit the channel if you wind up switching to a different one. Let's get to the video. Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is five fast knife reviews now i will talk about the good and the bad in this video so here we have the kaiser splinter and i'll be honest i've been pretty impressed with this um especially with the the couple negatives that i have they definitely the good things definitely outweigh the negative so we have an n690 blade here a worn cliff style blade shape the spine right here helps bring some of the strength of the the spine thickness down to the tip so while it's a great piercing utility cutting blade shape it also helps bring a little strength to it as well so you're most likely not going to have to worry about breaking this tip even though it's a very fine tip for cutting then we have this awesome micarta now you can get these in titanium you can get them in anodized titanium there's lots of different options for this knife t8 hardware love to see that nice deep carry clip it is held on by t6s and is reversible so this is a left it's an ambidextrous knife so we have the tom cat knives um the the uh, micarta has a texture to it that's really nice and the lock bar access is very generous lots of access right there very easy to disengage and it is very smooth. I love the sound of the detent, but first we'll go over the action. Very, very tiny flipper tab. Very fast deployment. It definitely rockets out there. Now, I was at one point want wishing it had jimping, but I, I'm past that now. I think it's just fine without jimping, meaning the flipper tab right here, because it is a small flipper tab, but man, it really rockets out there. And then when you unlock it, the detent is early enough to where you can get past it, and it's very smooth on the drop. I can also use the side of my finger and reverse flick it pretty easily. Now, a couple of the issues I have. One, it's a slim knife, so this clip, you do feel it a lot. Like, it's definitely a hot spot. However... This isn't really, I mean, yes, you can just get by with making cuts like this, but a lot of times you're going to be holding it like this, you know, opening up a box, going on the side of a box, and you can take advantage of this little spot right there and get past the clip where it's not going to bother you if you really want to. Now, next issue is they don't give you a sharpening choil. However, this is very simple. You can, one, just get a diamond file, and file in your own sharpening choil or if you have a dremel it will be even faster because there's no nothing in the way back here or you could just leave it and sharpen it back it's kind of one of those knives that it makes it to where you never have to worry about catching a choil you just continue to to cut and you can just let the cardboard go right up into the cut where you don't have to block it or get anything in the way it will continue to cut without catching on anything which is kind of the benefit of not having a choil so you know it just kind of depends on what you like and prefer but other than those two things um i mean really this is a solid great great knife let's get to the next one next the civivi hadros now this is also a worn cliff knife we have um 10 cr 15 mov steel um, great budget steel, nice thin hollow ground blade, very, very thin behind the edge. And we have micarta scales. Now, these my, this micarta scale is very slick. It's uh, not textured like this micarta, which is a little bit different. T8 hardware, love to see that. Nice big hardware makes it where you can take them apart very easily. Deep carry clip that is reversible. So it is uh, right hand and left hand, um, you know, carry. The detent, 
very well tuned for the thumb stud deployment and the thumb studs are very well placed they're very easy to access you can easily get to them and pow pop it right out you can also get to it for the reverse flick very easily now i find myself reverse flicking down here because it's a hollow grind and i kind of just put my finger up underneath the hollow or on the top of the hollow very easy to deploy it that way now the cutting performance it cuts really good um especially for utility cuts very very good cutter now a couple negative things the clip a lot like the splinter this is a slim knife so deep carry clips just don't do good in the hand so but however like the splinter you're most likely going to be holding it like this you know doing these type of cuts more than slicing with it like this but you can obviously do it if you need to next thing is this lock bar access it is horrible horrible lock bar access they need more access um i personally i don't know um i'll probably wind up doing something with it because it is tough to get to uh, i can do it you know obviously i'm sitting here doing it now but it's just frustrating because it is pretty tight in there i have to kind of smash my finger to get to it i don't like that next thing <clears throat> Uh, the plunge grind, I do wish they would have made it farther back because it the plunge grind starts here and it ends basically at the edge. Now, the stop pin is back here and is located in an area I normally don't like. However, this one's okay because it's up, it's back farther, like back here. So you can still cut in a choil if you need to. You just got to make sure you do not hit that area that the stop pin hits right there on the close position because it needs to hit that to close uh other than those things though awesome awesome knife great action great user and let's get to the next one the kaiser genie now this knife um does come in other options as well uh you can get this one in i think titanium um i'm not sure if it comes in g10 but this is the micarta version so just know there are multiple different versions of this this one is extremely lightweight this thing is a featherweight if you want a light knife holy cow this thing is very light and we do have um a deep carry clip on a slim knife again however this one's not as bad the other options i think they were just a little too slim this one winds up working out pretty decent in the hand considering and you can always get your finger right up here nice and tight to the blade and in that case you're kind of past the clip very slicey clip point blade sheep's foot blade whatever you want to call it reverse tanto call it what you will um very very slicey nice and thin behind the edge and then this plunge grind is beautiful look at that it ends back here you have a lot of sharpening life on this i love that the micarta is really good quality nice and soft you can feel all these fibers very very nice it will darken up over time as well now let's talk about this action lock bar access very easy to get to very very false shutty you can reverse flick it very easily now it might be a little bit tight for some people but once you get used to it it's pretty good you can thumb flick it as well and then you also have the top flipper which is jimped almost all the way up to the very peak of it i do kind of wish they would have put jimping up here on the very peak but it's so easy to do that it really doesn't matter very easy deployment and you can see the stop pin right there nice lock up very very solid and when you unlock it very very smooth on the drop now this one does not have a reversible clip so lefties uh you know you you have to carry it with the clip on this side but i will say it's pretty good for a lefty because you have so much more access to this side for the reverse flick because of the cutout for the lock bar so if you are a lefty this is a great option for you now a couple negative things um you know there's really not much negative here i'll just say that right off the bat um but i could nitpick and say the coating on the blade 
makes it feel not really feel it's very very smooth but i can hear that now that's also kind of an easy uh fix or at least it helps out a lot if you get a little kpl heavy and you just get right here on the detent ball and give yourself if i can see it a little drippity drip that will help massively and make it a lot smoother but I can still hear it, but that will always, that will break in over time. It's just the coating on the blade, which is almost all the way broken in already. So it does break in quick. Next, the Tuya Cebu. Now this one has been very impressive to me. One, the action is so good. The reverse flicking hole is very easy to access. Now it does not have a reversible clip, but it's very easy to deploy and use left-handed. Now we have a D2 blade that is pretty robust, but still just, it's okay with slicing, especially when you come back to these ergos, beautiful choil and sharpening choil and finger choil, very generous. Now these ergos are it's like a masterpiece. It's so good in the hand. Very, very comfortable. I do feel the clip slightly, but nothing to complain about. And we have a titanium milled pocket clip, a titanium pivot collar, and backspacer. Now, these do come in other colors, so this is not the only color, color option. But the ergos are so, so nice in the hand. Very, very nice for cutting. And utility cuts are going to be great. You're going to have lots of leverage into your cuts. Lots of power behind your cutting. Access to the lock bar. Very, very nice. And the drop is stupid smooth. I mean, just a fantastic knife. The jimping on the flipper tab is also nice. I do kind of wish they would have put one more jimp right there at the end, but you can push button it or light switch it. Both are very satisfying. And you can also thumb flick it because this hole is so generous that it's very easy to get to. Now, um, awesome, awesome knife. We do have a lanyard hole in the back. Now, a couple negative things. We have very tiny hardware. Now, I do think they upgraded that on the new models, um, but I'm not 100% about that. But basically, what I'm talking about right now, also, I think the, the flathead pivot, I think they might have changed as well. I'm not positive about all this, so you just kind of got to check them out um, for any of the new models that are available. Man, that action is so good. Such a great knife. But other than that, that's really the only negative things I can really come up with is just that they, the hardware, which I do think they fixed, it is a little bit more robust than I would prefer, but it's still just fine. Like I, I, I would never not buy it because of it, because it, it's, it's just fine. No, um, I shouldn't even complain about it because it's, it's very uh, appropriate, I guess for the ergos so it's not like it doesn't make sense let's get to the next one last but not least the mini asticus the civivi asticus now they do have a, a large asticus which is a pretty large knife and some would say a small asticus is better than a large asticus but i got the small asticus which is still a full-size knife 100 percent. we have a 3.25 inch blade which is like the most versatile blade shape. This blade shape is so, so useful. It is a drop point hollow ground, very thin behind the edge. I mean, this thing is screaming behind the edge. And the blade stock thickness isn't crazy thick either. So the blade is very appropriate for this handle. Such a good looking knife. Now the deployment, it has a small flipper tab, but the detent is very well tuned. It is uh, a good deployment very very snappy now when you unlock it it's not very false shutty but it is smooth you know i can slap it shut with one little slap of my wrist like that but if i'm just gonna let it drop no it's not the most drop shutty but it's still very very smooth because it is running on ceramic bearings so it is very very smooth lock up nice and solid Access to the lock bar could be better. It's okay, though. Um, I wouldn't say it's 
horrendous or anything like that. It's not horrible, but I would prefer a little bit better access, but it's still in the okay category. Now we have a stop pin that is a shoulder lockup and is out of the way. Um, the sharpening choil is decent, but if you do want to add a bigger one, it's not a problem, but it's still in the decent category. Reversible pocket clip. So it is right and left-handed, and we have T8 construction aside from the clip screws. Now, I got the brushed copper, so they have multiple different versions of this. I got the brushed copper because I might do a force patina in the future, but it's very heavy because I got the copper one. Now, there are other options that are going to be very light, but if you get the copper or brass version, just know that it is very hefty. It's a heavy knife, but I personally don't really care about that. I mean, this isn't a giant knife to begin with, so it just kind of makes it feel substantial in my hand. It makes it feel good. The cutting performance is amazing with this knife. This knife cuts like a dream. Um, and especially for the size. I mean, it's not a large knife. And so it's good that with this kind of compact ergos like this, that you do have great cutting performance. But don't get me wrong. I mean, good ergos, it does, you know, feel pretty decent in the hand. I feel the clip quite a bit because it is narrow, but it's okay. And, you know, I'm not complaining about that. Um, the little complaints I would have is, um, you know, they, they did the T6s on the clip. I wish they would have just did T8s because, you know, people are going to swap it. Next thing, like I said, uh, a little bit more access to the lock bar. It's not that big of a deal. There's really not that much bad here. There's just like little details that's like, uh, I wish they would have did that a little bit better. But really no real bad. You know, like I said, I do feel the clip quite a bit. You know, maybe they should inset the clip. If they would have inset it into the copper, it would be even better in the hand. But it's just fine. It's not that big of a deal. And it's a great knife. I do like this knife quite a bit. And I think that this is a great user for so many people. If you're looking for a good user, I think the Astacus is an amazing knife. So there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.